Good morning class. My name is Faith and our topic today is on food commodities and particularly we are dealing with an egg. Today's objectives, by the end of this topic, the trainee should be able to 1. List different food commodities Differentiate between animal and plant proteins 3. Explain different uses of various food commodities and 4. Outline points to consider on the purchase of food commodities The egg The term egg applies not only to those of a hen but also to the edible eggs of other domesticated birds such as turkey, goose and guinea fowl. Most caterers make use of hen's egg for much of their purposes compared to others since they are readily available. Structure and composition of an egg. An egg is composed of three main parts. One is the shell, number two egg white and number three the yolk as you can see on the diagram. We start with the shell. It forms 11.5% of the egg and composed of 97% calcium carbonate and 3% protein. It is porous, enabling the developing cheek to obtain oxygen. The color of the shell may vary according to the breed of the bird and the food eaten by the bird. Note that its color does not affect the nutritional value of the egg. Egg white, also known as albumin and contains a mixture of proteins, divided into thick white and thin white. The main proteins of the egg are overbumin and mucin. The white forms 58.5% of the whole egg and consists of 88.5% water and 10.5% proteins, riboflavin and other B vitamins, as well as traces of fat. The yolk. It is the central part of the egg and forms about 30% of the egg weight. It is supported at the center by the chalaza. It consists of 1. 16.5% 16 proteins, 33% fat, 50% water. Fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K are also present, and mineral elements including iron and lecithin are found in the yolk. The color of the yolk varies depending on the amount and type of carotins that the bird feeds on. Quality points for fresh eggs. Number one. The shell should be clean, undamaged, and slightly rough. Number two, the white, when broken, the egg should have a large proportion of thick white to thin white. The yolk should be firm, round, or doom shaped and good yellow color. The smell should be pleasant, as bad eggs smell of hydrogen sulfide. Note that long cooking of eggs at high temperatures encourages the production of hydrogen sulfide even in freshly laid eggs. Some of the sulfur in the egg combines with the ion to form a grayish green strong tasting compound that can be seen as a layer around the yolk of hard boiled eggs. This is also caused by not cooling the egg in cold water. Uses of eggs in cookery. Number one, enriching. Eggs improve the quality and texture of sugar paste. They can be added to sauces, soups, and milk puddings to provide extra proteins. Number two, thickening. Eggs are used to thicken custards, sauces, soups because of the coagulation of the egg protein. Number three, coloring. Egg yolks provide a distinct yellow color which acts as a coloring agent to some dishes. When heated, glazed pastry products also get an attractive brown color. Number four, garnishes. Hard boiled eggs and yolks can be sliced and used to decorate dishes 
when serving. In conclusion, on, I would like you to research more on the uses of eggs in cookery.